Hey there, everyone. This is SoCal playing what the kids call a solo archipelago of Super Mario World. And as they also say insistently in line at the grocery store, it is go time. As you can see from my hood up there, I am, for all intents and purposes, at this point in the game, just playing a regular old smoo. And that is fine. And, uh, it'll thwomp, thwimp, thwimp, thwomp, thwomp. Uh, and that is fine. This is why it was absolutely necessary to get all power-ups and Yoshi. Because you can't bring a Yoshi to fly here. You have brains in your head. You can't do anything about it. It's stuck there. Yeah! We love being stuck. Welcome to the Game Boy. I'm reverse trapped. It's all good. It is somewhat good. So, um, yeah. So that's why we are just going straight to the end. Like, I'll... Honestly, I should stop popping blocks because at this point all they will do Secret house. I need to fight Big Boo, I think Because at this point like all that will happen is traps. So I am incentivized to not do anything uh, Fair enough, so I feel like So when I started this project, you know fusion warrior who set up my seed uh, without having played it, or, of course, or anything, you know, and ask me, hey, so, like, I forget what they asked, but I remember telling them that I wanted the full randomizer experience. Or as much as is possible. You know, with- whoa, you didn't spin jump, that's pretty cool. So, or, you know, like, as much as you can in this game, and I feel like I got exactly what I wanted. Uh, this is extremely... Time a trap. Uh, I'm not bothering with that then. See, that's a problem. Why? Why would I continue playing knowing that now the timer's like harsh? Like, whatever, I'll just start over. It's fine. There's barely anything to play a uh, still. And yeah, so, and you know, I feel like I got the full experience. Like, I do not feel like I particularly need to. Play another smooth randomizer to be perfectly blunt like I've like sure if I were to do this again um, There would probably you know like the mix-up would be different the experience would be Different But I don't know if it would be so in a meaningful way like because I feel like I got about as big a runaround as you can get like, I just, like, 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 the experience I got was just so fantastically ridiculous. Wow, so I still need to beat, uh, Boss Bo, Big Boss, even though he doesn't give a, 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 a boss token. That's funny. Like, I feel like while another form of remixing would absolutely give me a different... Like, it would be different in terms of, like, the specific verbs that I'm doing and whatnot, but... I, I, I feel like I've got, like, the biggest just run around I could ask for. I don't know, that's that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I was correct. Time a trap. Let's uh, not bother then. Oh, there was a lot less to do. I kind of forgot that... Uh, wait for the timer trap to... There we go. I gotta wait for the timer trap to... Because this is a note of scroll. Anyway, I don't know. I'm saying things. It's fine. There was less to do here than I, than I remember. But yeah, like, so, you know, people have mentioned about how there were too many traps, maybe not enough variety of traps. I feel like it's important to remind everyone, you know, including me, uh, I've definitely commented forgetting that nuance a few times. But we have to remember that fundamentally, an archipelago is meant to be a group social affair. I mean, it can be asynchronous, so like, not social as in everyone is playing at the same time. But at the very least, many people are involved. And I feel like, one, the traps make more sense in that context, where they just get sprung on you. Because now, every time I pop a thing, like, I expect some form of shenanigan to happen. And, you know, that's normal. Like, you know, like, that's just, like, how it's been. It's like, okay, I'm hitting a block. Is there gonna be a trap? There is a trap. I'm looking at the server at all time, looking for trap. We're all good. 
Um, that doesn't work nearly as well if traps are instead just gonna get sprung at you. See, like there. Like, uh, I hit the block, my eyes immediately went to the server prompt. And I saw that, yeah, stun trap was coming up. So, like, you know, so, like, it kind of defeats the purpose of what is trap. And, um... Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> that does defeat the purpose of what is trap. It's a lot less of a trap. Uh, but when they just can get at you at any point from anywhere, it's a lot more efficient. And that's the thing with, like, every single block having a thing in them. Again... That makes more sense in the- oh, I got a boss token. I got- uh, see, there's no indication here you got all of them on the map. I wish that's a thing they would add. A... But yeah, that, that's the thing also with, like, having so many blocks I can bob, is if I was connected to ten other players, each playing a bunch of different games, then having the ability to unlock a whole slew of stuff from all over the place, Suddenly makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? So, okay, so in spite of um, Being the back door, it's still the front door. All right, there's a moon in what wait. Oh, the doors are randomized. Is that seven? This is seven we're in. There's a moon in one of these, huh? Well, I don't know which one. That's okay. Watch out. That was hard. Oh, now. Oh Okay I see what we're doing here. I understand what you're putting down. Alright. Alright, alright. We're gonna... Oh yeah, this is six. Starting to think we're just gonna marathon the whole thing. Uh, this is not the best placement in the world. Just gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, I would have time to fly away. That's fine though. I should not hit this block. Oh! So, uh, that did not trigger anything. I think it doesn't count any of the blocks. I guess that the end isn't supposed to count for anything, but there's a moon. I don't know. But point is, yeah, so like, uh, so, you know, things people have pointed out, a lot of them I agree, but like, a lot of it stems from the fact that, strictly speaking, you know, uh oh. I'm gonna be okay. Strictly speaking, I am quote unquote playing the game wrong. Or at the very least, not as it was designed. And also, you know, there's the fact that Smoo is not meant to be a game with like a lot of unlocks. So what is there is absolutely fantastic. They could have added like a lot more granulity to it. Oh, I think the moon is in this room, right? Isn't it? It's like in there or something? Am I wrong? Am I dumb for thinking that? Let's find out. No, that's a normal life. Okay, I knew there was something. But it was not what I wanted. Sadness abounds in this maze of carpets. I'm free from the maze of carpets. Robot chicken. It's a duck. This one, it's the hardest one. I think. I've always thought it was the hardest one. I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's just because child me would just run in immediately. Well, I just made this a lot harder for myself. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, I would just run in immediately, and then if you just run in... Okay. Cool. Want that. Okay, I got it. Ugh, dude, okay. All right. What's the correct timing? Yeah, like, I feel like I've never really done this room. Alright, there we go. It's not, like, that's the thing. Do it once, figure it out, and you're good, but you, you, you gotta get to that level. What's with this room? I do not remember you. And the hammer's clearly... Ah, bush, yay.
Start running when the one in the back can so, uh, see the, the end. I feel like I went too late. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't- I think this is- I- I- okay, like, now I feel like I remember this room, but- Wow, this one is, like, hilariously dangerous compared to a lot of others. Bowser rooms are not created equal. <laughs> like, they are really not. Alright, I remember this one. For a long while, that was, like, my one when I was a kid. Uh, I think this is... No, I think this is four. Like, it's clearly not the right choice. But it was. I don't know why. Hey, there we go. Nice little blue room goo room. Alright. Welcome to the ninja part, the only part where there are ninjas. You think ninjas would be over the all over the place in the regular game, but they're not. They're not. Uh, they're just here, literally using their Mario 2 graphics, and in spite of doing the back door, I don't get a midpoint. I don't. All right, this is a little scary being small I don't know man like it is because like I know how this fight work by all laws of aviation I should not lose but anything can happen you know I can have an accident oh boy see like that was way too close don't do that dude self Alright, just line yourself with the flames. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we're gonna be good. I'm assuming Princess gonna throw me a mushroom. I'm hoping. Yay! Okay. Suddenly things now feel a lot better. I'm not a one hit death kill death machine death. Which feels nice. Oh, this is not the best placement in the universe though for the big stealer! Right. Next stop. Fan club. Duck club. Fan full of duck and ducks full of fan. All right. Which one of those images is the worst? I'm not sure. Let's do that. Pop, pop. And do that. Just stay underneath. Pop, pop. Well, I mean, the pop, pop already happened. That's the sound I make when I spin jump. Just celebrating incessantly. Go! We're safe in between the cackling flames. Help! Alright! Yep, that sounds. Wouldn't have it any other way. I don't know what does that little like plop plop sound though. I don't know, but we're hearing it. Oh, it's a thunder, of course. Thunderous roar of a little plop plop machine. We did it! The Bowser death sounds the same. The Bowser dying and being swung into space is the same. We did it! We beat the game! I got a kiss on the chin. That's... okay. I think, I think the relationship is portrayed almost more as mom and child. I mean, I'm assuming it was meant to aim for the mouth, but you have to also take into account small Mario. Doesn't matter, man. I I have eyeballs. Sometimes. I mean, they're always there. The eyeballs are always there. There's no denying that. 
Oh, is what is I? It's like frame, yeah. Timer, sure. I though is a thing. Where it it only activates sometimes. Inactive, like inact in inactive frames maybe. Yeah! Now it released a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Raukau, team number one, has released all remaining items from their world. Team one has completed all of their games. Congratulations! Okay, so if you beat the game, then every unlock you're holding just gets released to their home space. Got it. That makes sense. That was fun! I feel like I got a pretty huge rando... Uh, event with that, and it's pretty good. I had a lot of fun. I don't see myself doing it ever again. For Smoo, uh, I could see trying a randomizer for another thing. I know the Link to the Past one is pretty beefy. Uh, there are other ones that are like very, very good. Basically, games that have more things that naturally confer progression. But I kind of like the fact that this chopped up Mario's moveset. If anything, I wish it went even harder, you know? Unlock revert reserve items. Unlock individual Yoshi. Unlock using the tongue of Yoshi. Unlock, you know, you got cape, you got run. Unlock spin flight and bubble flight and pounding. I mean, some of them are not actually used for anything, but like, it just makes things fun. Unlock throwing fireballs to the side when you do a spin jump and try not to unlock that move. Because that's a hindrance more than anything. But that's fine. Oh, that's great palette. That we, we made sure to defrost the chimney, but not the actual fireplace. And a solid square around it. I guess the berries are just real warm. Spicy berries! Well, you're welcome. You're welcome, Tree. Did it, I rescued all the friends. This is the credits we know. They've showed up on this channel once or twice long ago. I I realize my statement took a longer meter than the length of music. There's a few uh, levels I haven't played. Uh, haven't played Chogo House, we saw that one. Soda Lake, we somehow managed to avoid. Um... Other levels that I forgot. <laughs> I mean, I remember them as soon as I'd see them. Oh, it's so silly. Like, you go out of your way to do just, like, big, ridiculous things. Like, like, like going through the trouble of getting all the dragon coins in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the sunken ship, for example. And that not doing anything. And run, my last key ingredient being in a random block somewhere. Like, that's the thing with randomization. I know people like randomization games a lot, but the reality is... You're gonna get things like that. They can be interesting if all you're interested is in the journey, and that's valid. I respect that. I've been in that space. But if you're looking for puzzles that feel like they have an arc to them, any form of arc at all, actually. Or like, a sense of finality. <laughs> like, that's just not going to happen. Like, you know, a machine don't care. It just puts things everywhere and it has no idea what it is that it is doing. Uh, other than like... Um... You know, following a logic that, oh, I'm not allowed... I don't know why. All I know is I'm not allowed to put this here if you can't get this here before. It doesn't know why. It doesn't want to know why. It's just, it's just like, it says okay. And you know, that's, that's, that, that. The end! Join me next time when we end. Uh, yeah, no, it is the end of the temporary A-side. Next time, the last game of the temporary A-side. It's gone. It's done. It's done. But... I think it's a pretty good way to end it on.